Well, good morning, everybody. We're running a little bit late. Let's uh, jump right into this and see if we can find a pair to trade. I wanted to take a look at the capital goods basket this morning. It's a basket we have looked at before. It's got some products that are highly, highly correlated, and the RW coefficient is good. There's been a fair amount of action in there as well lately. Uh, let's take a look. I wanted to take a look at Rockwell because... Let's see here. I'll give it a second for the standard deviations to load. Um, they're having an earnings announcement tomorrow, and uh, and, and you know there's a couple of pairs where where they were they were quite uh, quite high on price as of late, and I think some of that might correct itself. Um, so it might be a, it might be a nice pair uh, if uh, if Rockwell's on the on the short side of that trade. So that's what I was actually looking for here. Uh, let me see what we can find. Let's take a look at this one here. I, I know it's not out to the second standard deviation, but it's got a, a, a pretty strong correlation and an amazing RW coefficient. So let's let's take a look at this one. Yeah, the uh, you know half a penny per day of drift. That's that's pretty nice. Earnings for tomorrow uh, on, with Rockwell, so I would take a look at it. But yeah, that's what I thought I remembered. It, it had taken a big jump up, and, and it's already started uh, some motion down. So I don't know if you want to trade it today or, or perhaps watch, uh, watch and see what the earnings come out. But uh, uh, the expectations on the earnings are slightly down from last year. The, the track record has been, has been literally perfect with this. Um, and it's got 17 days, so... So you know the, the earnings here is the, is the 14th. So there's not a lot of time, uh, a lot of time be before the earnings here. But uh, again, you, you might take a look at it and decide to hold it through the earnings uh, in this in this particular case. So let's let's uh, jump over and look at the uh, um, let's, let's let's create a pair and turn it into a, a uh, uh, and look at the hitting probabilities with this. So here we are. Let's see. Okay, almost done. Here we are. So, so yeah, it, it had a it had a huge jump up, middle of December. It's been working its way back down, kind of went flat, and it's starting to move back down again. I, I suspect it's moving back down because of the expectations of this of this earnings announcement. So, I'm going to be tempted to put it on today, although that's a, a you know a little aggressive for my my normal style. Um, but this is a great looking curve for a for a pairs. Uh, this, this is this is a really nice curve. So. Let's take a look at the hitting probabilities real quick. Okay, so the mean is at 0.11. There's plenty, plenty of profit room in here. Uh, let's just put this at 12 days and run the simulation. I, I certainly don't think we're going to have the mean as our yeah, so so it's still to, to get to the mean. It's still, it's still suggesting 52 days, which is certainly not something that we're uh, going to try to do. And yeah, three out of four profitable in 12 days. So it's not it's not a perfect trade here, but let's uh, let's change the target number here to uh, four dollars and run it again. Okay, that puts it down to 16 days. That's that's a little you know more in line with some of the earnings dates, but. Again, I'm not for whatever reason. You know, the the earnings on these are are a little bit more predictable than some products, and uh, I'm not as concerned with the earnings date on this particular pair. But again, that's all a matter of style. You should take a look at it and see see what you think. But the only part that that bothers me a little bit is the is is that we're only showing about a three out of four winners, and and I with pairs trading, I tend to like you know like that um, like to have that number a bit higher. So. But overall, um, let's let's make it. Let's try five. Let's try one more number here.
Yeah, the mode is eight days, but still 50% of the time taking 34 days. So, so let's uh, let's let's just run with that. We we'll we'll keep a close eye on this one. We might adjust that target price as we go along, but let's make this a recommendation for today. So it's it's ROK minus 1.09 of SPW. It is a short. So for every share of ROK that you sell, you're going to buy 1.09 shares of SPW. Take a close look at it. Like I said, I'm tempted to trade it today because the direction is back down, and I suspect that that is based on the earnings announcement that's coming tomorrow. Um, but you know, if you're more conservative, you can wait until after the earnings announcement and, and, and make that decision. So uh, good luck with your trading. Thanks. Bye.